Hi, and welcome to my Azure Quick Hits video series. Today we're going to demonstrate how to log into a Linux box running in Azure using SSH. Uh, super simple. So first let's go to uh, the marketplace and then we're going to type in Apache. Look for a free one. Tomcat, here we go. We'll choose this guy. We'll do create and we fill in all the details. And then down at the bottom here, we're gonna leave it on SSH. The default user is Azure user, generate a new key pair, and that'll be the name of the key. Let's click on next disks. We can leave the default here. Click on next networking. I'm gonna put it in my default subnet on my Sentinel Projects VNet. Uh, there is a public IP address because that's what we're gonna SSH into. Next management, we don't need any management. We don't have any advanced requirements, so we can just click on review and create. Once it passes the validation, we will then hit create. It will give us a tag here saying generate new key pair and it says download the private key and create resource. And that is what we want to do. I'm using Chrome, so it pops up down here. In Edge, it'll show up in the top right hand corner. And then the deployment will occur. While the deployment's underway, let's go and start Putty Gen. And once we've got the Putty Generator going, we can go here to conversions, import a key, Select our download directory, and here we've got the Apache and Linux key perm called PEM. Open this, and then save private key. It'll give a next message saying, do you want to save the private key without a passphrase to protect it? So in this case, we're going to say yes. Okay, And it's going to ask us where, so we're just going to put it in downloads directory, and we'll call this the private key. Click save. And this is the key we're gonna need when we actually do the SSH connection. So that's all there is to this. So now we'll return to the portal window, go to the resource, and here's the public IP address. So we'll capture this, we'll copy this to clipboard. We can start putty. Bring this over, I'll just minimize this window so we're not in the way. Uh, we can close putty generator, we don't need that anymore. And the host name is gonna be Azure user at 20.112.117.211. Next, we go down to SSH, and we look at the auth, and here we're gonna browse, and we're gonna go to the downloads, and we're gonna pick up our Apache private key, and click on open, and then now, if we actually go back up to the session, and we save it, I will give it a name, let's say, Apache 2 in this case and click on save. Now we can come back and grab that again. We click on open and you're going to see that it logs us right in. If however on the Apache, let's close this for a second and go back to putty and we click on Apache 2 and load. If I did not put in this Azure user at, at in front of the IP address then what happens is we still connect but we're going to see the login as and here we'd have to type in Azure user. All right, and now you're ready to start administering your Apache server. that address. I'm going to call this Apache. We're going to save that one so we can use it again. 
and then we're going to go down to the SSH connections. Click on Auth and then browse for the private key. And the private key is going to be located in our download section. Private key, click on Open. And now, if you want to keep this for future use, don't forget to go back to the session and say save, otherwise it'll forget that private key. We've got it loaded as Apache, and we can now do load. Uh, open. You will get an alert the first time you log on saying this, uh, this server's host key is not cached in the registry, so am I going to cache that? I'll say yes, so I don't run into it again. And I get login as. 